parliament. And, and this question has had added salience after the recent developments in Malaysia and now Hong Kong. This is at odds with theories which say that as a nation becomes more developed, more educated, its citizens would want more political freedoms, more political diversity, which is not really the case in Singapore. And the, the many factors cited for the weakness of Singapore's um, opposition parties um, is perhaps a mix of facts, a mix of unproven theories, and some would say just propaganda. For example, the classic explanation that is that the Singaporean voter is generally quite contented with his lot, uh, who, who are happy to trade their political freedoms for stable politics, uh, which would deliver economic progress. Then there are the explanations